Hi folks, it's Brian Gregg from Resurgence Web Design, back with another open card tutorial. It's been a while, been meaning to get back around to this. Um, I made a video not too long ago uh, going over some of the features uh, in the new open cart uh, 2.0 as they apply to uh, theme designers. And uh, this next video is going to talk a little bit about uh, progressive enhancement and how to implement it uh, using the open cart uh, 2 framework, uh, which, as I had mentioned before, is uh, based on the uh, Twitter bootstrap framework, which um, I uh, happen to be uh, very familiar with and uh, very fond of. Uh, so let's, uh, let's take a look. I've got a fresh open cart install over here in my local host. Um, as you can see, um, up at the top here, we've got a uh, carousel and some featured content. Um, we've got some uh, uh, footer content over here, our nav menu, and uh, let's just take a look and see how the default uh, theme handles a smaller screen. So, all right, so looks pretty good. You see the carousel resizes. Uh, the featured content moves to a column, and uh, the footer, mm, I don't know, moves to a one-column layout, which is okay. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely going to look good on mobile. Uh, we got some changes to the, um, all the information here in the header. It switches things to icons. It gives you a little hamburger menu. Uh, all the stuff you'd expect to see in a mobile design. Um, but... Here's where the tricky part comes in. So we go to our admin panel, and let's say we want to add something to the left-hand side. So let's go to Extensions, Modules. We're going to take the HTML content over here, Edit, and let's create a module called HTML sidebar. Heading title, uh, some additional content, and let's just Here, just want to get some more ellipsum. Let's just generate some more ellipsum. Uh, two paragraphs, and we're gonna throw this into the sidebar over there. Enabled. Let's save that. And uh, let's take that and let's put it in our home page layout. We're going to say add module, HTML sidebar, column left. Save it up. And uh, bing, bang, boom. Oh, look at that. There's some content there on the uh, left-hand side, exactly as we'd expect it to be. Now, what happens when we shrink that back up again? Hmm. It's not there. Nowhere to be seen. Okay, so this is a bit of an issue, right? You know, we uh, maybe that's okay. You know, maybe it's some information that's not really vital and uh, you don't want it to show up um, when somebody's looking at it from mobile, but uh, maybe it is. So let's see if we can figure out a solution to this. Uh, let's inspect this. Um, we can see that this content's all part of a row. We've got column left, uh, and we've got our content. So we're going to start by 
Um, Let's take a look and see what's happening in the uh, in in the template files here. So let's uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna um, create a new folder. We're gonna call it OC2. And we're gonna go into our default, and uh, we're gonna go into our template uh, folder, and uh, we're gonna go into our common folder and uh, let's just uh, let's copy over a couple of files that we're going to need. So we're going to need the header because we're going to need to um, make some modifications to which style sheets are included. Uh, we're going to want to grab the we're going to want to grab the um, home.tpl because that's where we were making um, adding the additional content and let's grab the column left because that's where we added that additional content. Uh, let's create a new folder in here we'll create one called template. We'll create one called let me turn this off hold on notifications. Can't leave. Say do not disturb. Ugh. Alright, whatever. Template, new folder, common. Copy those files in there. Let's also create a new file called style sheet because we're going to want to make some modifications to the style sheets at some point also. Let's Looks good. So let's let's take a look at our column left that TPL. Oh, well, there we go. Seems when we um, shrink it down to extra small, it's hidden. So well, we don't really want that. So let's uh, instead of hiding it when it's extra small. So that's kind of the, the bootstrap syntax there. Uh, column small three and what that's saying is that it uh, spans three columns in a 12 column layout and uh, SM would be for small, LG would be for large, uh, XS would be for extra small. So once you get the screen size down to that uh, uh, minimal width for mobile, it's uh, extra small and uh, it's being hidden. So let's change this to call XS 12. Save that and let's refresh. Alright, so. Hmm. Alright, something, something's happened here now, right? You can see that the uh, it's still not showing up. So why might that be? Well, let's take a look here. Uh, all right, if we hide the block, it's it's still there. It's just being um, it's being covered by our carousel. So yeah, it should be easy enough to fix what we're basically going to have to do is we're going to have to just override some of the styles in the carousel. So uh, first thing we want to do if we want to override some of the styles in the carousel is uh, we're going to want to let's create a new file. I'm going to save it as main.css and well, let's uh, let's copy this right out of here okay and let's just float that to the left and see how that looks oh wait I forgot something critical here we need to 
make sure that we're including that. Main.css in our template. So let's uh, let's open up this uh, header.tpl. I'm going to copy the I'm going to copy the, uh, the code here to include the default style sheet. I'm going to change this to OC2. Change this to main.css. Save that and hopefully you look at that. Now we've got our slider, we've got our content, and we are in good shape. Assuming this is where you want that content to stay. Now, if you've got a layout like this, where your main content is above the fold here, and uh, you just have some additional content here in the left uh, column of your screen, this might be okay. But when you're on a mobile platform, that might not be the first thing that you want to see when uh, the first thing you want to display when somebody logs onto your site. You may want this information to be down here at the bottom, below all your featured content. I mean, you know, this information may be very useful. It's useful enough that you don't want it to be hidden, but you certainly don't want it prominent right when uh, somebody first logs on, to, first looks at your page. So, how do we handle this? Well, let's take a look. Let's see what's going on with the uh, home.tpl. Copy that over as well. So, we can see here that when we are displaying that home page, we're displaying column left. And then if there's both a column left and a column right, we're uh, displaying the main content in a six wide column. If there is a left or a right, it's displaying it as uh, a width of nine. And if there's no other content, it's displaying it with a width of 12. So what are we gonna do here? Well, first of all, Let's try taking our column left and moving it after this content. Okay, we got our normal stuff back at the top. And up oh, there we go. The information that we need to display is displayed at the bottom. Well, let's take a look at it back when it's at full screen. But now all of our left column content is displaying in the right. That doesn't really make much sense. We designated it to be in the left column, so that's where we want it to be. So how do we get it over there without um, it showing up as the first content on our page? So this is where we get to a nice feature of Bootstrap in which you can push and pull content from one column to another. So let's go back to our home.tpl. And uh, since we're only displaying the one column, it's we, we'd be um, uh, modifying this class for the column left or the column right. We're going to do something neat here. And we're going to say column small push three. Now, what that's going to do <coughs> is when our page is displayed at a small or larger width, it's going to take our content and push it over three columns. And then in our column left, that TPL, 
We're going to do the opposite. We're going to say column small pull 9. And what that's going to do is it's going to take that content that was on the right hand side of the screen and pull that over nine columns to back to the left hand side of the screen where it belongs. So let's take a look at this. Our content shows up now in the left column of the screen and let's see what happens when we reduce it. Our column content that we're expecting to show up at the top is at the top and there's our additional content there at the bottom. So what we did was we modified the column left and the column right to push and pull to where they're supposed to be. I hope that this was helpful. Um, this is a fairly advanced topic, um, so you might have to look through this a couple of times before you can uh, really feel comfortable with using the push and pull classes in uh, Bootstrap to uh, take use of uh, their uh, progressive enhancement techniques. Um, but if you do have any questions, um, I am available on Twitter at Ignore Intuition. Uh, you can also get me at my website, resurgencewebdesign.com, and uh, on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching, and um, you know, good luck with your projects, and I'll uh, talk to you all soon. Thank you.